1번 Hello, students. I'm Olivia Watson, manager of the Yellow Hill College Student Job Fair. This event is a great opportunity because more than 50 companies will visit in search of new qualified employees. For participants to be fully prepared, I'd like to tell you what items you should bring. First, you must show your student ID card since it'll be used as the entrance ticket. Second, bring your resume. Most interviewers will require it to get a deeper understanding of your experiences and skills. Finally, if you have any certificates for special skills, please print a few copies to share with companies. Don't forget to bring the items that I mentioned, and you'll have a better chance at success. Thank you. 1번 Hello, students. I'm Olivia Watson, manager of the Yellow Hill College Student Job Fair. This event is a great opportunity because more than 50 companies will visit in search of new qualified employees. For participants to be fully prepared, I'd like to tell you what items you should bring. First, you must show your student ID card since it'll be used as the entrance ticket. Second, bring your resume. Most interviewers will require it to get a deeper understanding of your experiences and skills. Finally, if you have any certificates for special skills, please print a few copies to share with companies. Don't forget to bring the items that I mentioned, and you'll have a better chance at success. Thank you. 2번 What are you doing, Jesse? I'm cleaning out my closet. It's too small to hold all my clothes. Well, the closet looks big enough. Did you sort your old clothes? Not yet. I'm trying to arrange all of them by color now. Oh dear, you need to get rid of clothes you don't really wear. But when it comes to fashion, trends come and go and often come back again. I can wear them later. Well, nobody knows when a trend might come back. I guess that makes sense. And the colors will fade if you keep them for too long. You're right. I have lots of old clothes whose colors are already gone. You see, when arranging your closet, you should dispose of clothes you don't usually wear. Okay, I think that's good advice. 2번 What are you doing, Jesse? I'm cleaning out my closet. It's too small to hold all my clothes. Well, the closet looks big enough. Did you sort your old clothes? Not yet. I'm trying to arrange all of them by color now. Oh dear, you need to get rid of clothes you don't really wear. But when it comes to fashion, trends come and go and often come back again. I can wear them later. Well, nobody knows when a trend might come back. I guess that makes sense. And the colors will fade if you keep them for too long. You're right. I have lots of old clothes whose colors are already gone. You see? When arranging your closet, you should dispose of clothes you don't usually wear. Okay, I think that's good advice. 3번 You must be Mr. Cooper. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Hello, Miss Wood. You have a really beautiful home. Thank you. Let me show you around. Okay. Wow. I can see why your house was recommended for House of the Month. Such elegant modern style. I'm glad to hear that. My husband and I put lots of effort into decorating. Where do you want to start shooting? I'd like to take pictures in the living room and then move to the bedroom and bathroom. Sounds good. As you know, the photos taken today will be published in Family Home Magazine. Yes, in next month's issue, right? Well, actually, I'm not sure. But if you ask the editor, you'll get an answer. I see. In case you need help, please give me a shout. All right. I'll let you know when everything's done. 3번 You must be Mr. Cooper. Nice to meet you. Come on in. Hello, Miss Wood. You have a really beautiful home. 
Thank you. Let me show you around. Okay. Wow, I can see why your house was recommended for House of the Month. Such elegant modern style. I'm glad to hear that. My husband and I put lots of effort into decorating. Where do you want to start shooting? I'd like to take pictures in the living room and then move to the bedroom and bathroom. Sounds good. As you know, the photos taken today will be published in Family Home Magazine. Yes, in next month's issue, right? Well, actually, I'm not sure, but if you ask the editor, you'll get an answer. I see. In case you need help, please give me a shout. All right. I'll let you know when everything's done. Seven. Hi, Alice. Did you move to your new art studio? Yes, I did. Here's the picture of it. Take a look. Okay. You set an easel near the window. Yeah. I usually paint as I look out the window, and I put two paintbrushes in the bucket. That'll make it easy to take them out and use them. And I like the sculpture of a head on the table. It adds to the atmosphere. Thanks. Look at the heart shaped vase on the shelf. It was a gift from my family to congratulate me on the new place. They're so thoughtful. Did you paint the picture hanging on the wall? Yes, I did. Wow, you're so talented. Show me later what else you're working on. Of course. Seven. Hi, Alice. Did you move to your new art studio? Yes, I did. Here's the picture of it. Take a look. Okay. You set an easel near the window. Yeah. I usually paint as I look out the window, and I put two paintbrushes in the bucket. That'll make it easy to take them out and use them. And I like the sculpture of a head on the table. It adds to the atmosphere. Thanks. Look at the heart shaped vase on the shelf. It was a gift from my family to congratulate me on the new place. They're so thoughtful. Did you paint the picture hanging on the wall? Yes, I did. Wow, you're so talented. Show me later what else you're working on. Of course. Oban, Pip, Oscar, the club recruitment period begins soon. Let's check how well we've prepared so far. Good idea. Did you ask Mr. Kim to inform students about the club recruitment? Of course. He'll broadcast the information to the students. Good. By the way, how's it going with making our club poster? I finished it this morning. Do you want to take a look at it? Sure. It's wonderful. I like the QR code in the corner. Thanks. Students can scan this QR code and complete the application form online. Awesome. That way, we don't need to print out application forms. Yeah. Did you order snacks for the applicants? Oh, I forgot. I'll do that right away. Great. Then I'll put up the posters in the main hallway. Oban, Pip, Oscar, the club recruitment period begins soon. Let's check how well we've prepared so far. Good idea. Did you ask Mr. Kim to inform students about the club recruitment? Of course. He'll broadcast the information to the students. Good. By the way, how's it going with making our club poster? I finished it this morning. Do you want to take a look at it? Sure. It's wonderful. I like the QR code in the corner. Thanks. Students can scan this QR code and complete the application form online. Awesome. That way, we don't need to print out application forms. Yeah. Did you order snacks for the applicants? Oh, I forgot. I'll do that right away. Great. Then I'll put up the posters in the main hallway. Yukbun. Stacy, we need to book a practice room for band rehearsal. Okay. Let's make a reservation online. This rehearsal studio looks good. I think so too. This studio has two kinds of rooms. The standard room costs $15 per hour, and the expert room costs $20 per hour. 
They say that only one keyboard comes with the standard room. We'll definitely need the other room. You're right. Let's reserve the expert room for two hours. Good. Do they provide a recording service? Of course they do. It costs $5 per song. That's a reasonable price. Let's record two songs. Sounds good. Then we'll rent the expert room for two hours and use the recording service for two songs, right? Yes. Look, they provide a 10% discount to students. Oh, it doesn't apply to us. It's only for teenagers. All right. I'll pay with my credit card. Stacy, we need to book a practice room for band rehearsal. Okay, let's make a reservation online. This rehearsal studio looks good. I think so too. The studio has two kinds of rooms. The standard room costs $15 per hour, and the expert room costs $20 per hour. They say that only one keyboard comes with the standard room. We'll definitely need the other room. You're right. Let's reserve the expert room for two hours. Good. Do they provide a recording service? Of course they do. It costs $5 per song. That's a reasonable price. Let's record two songs. Sounds good. Then we'll rent the expert room for two hours and use the recording service for two songs, right? Yes. Look, they provide a 10% discount to students. Oh, it doesn't apply to us. It's only for teenagers. All right. I'll pay with my credit card. Chilpon. Hi, Leon. I haven't seen you since you went on your family trip. Hi, Amelia. We just got back yesterday. What a lovely dog. Is this Lucy? Yes, she's a bit shy. Oh. Is she wearing a ribbon around her neck? It's so cute. I'd like to buy some unique fancy accessories like Lucy's. So, you have a puppy too? Yes, I recently adopted one. He's really adorable. Good for you. Then why don't we go to the pet expo together? It'll be held downtown this Saturday. This Saturday? I'm sorry, but I can't. Are you still working on your science project? No, I've already done it. Then why can't you come? Actually, I'm going to vaccinate my puppy on that day. Okay. Nothing is more important than good health. Maybe next time. Hi, Leon. I haven't seen you since you went on your family trip. Hi, Amelia. We just got back yesterday. What a lovely dog. Is this Lucy? Yes, she's a bit shy. Oh. Is she wearing a ribbon around her neck? It's so cute. I'd like to buy some unique fancy accessories like Lucy's. So, you have a puppy too? Yes, I recently adopted one. He's really adorable. Good for you. Then why don't we go to the pet expo together? It'll be held downtown this Saturday. This Saturday? I'm sorry, but I can't. Are you still working on your science project? No, I've already done it. Then why can't you come? Actually, I'm going to vaccinate my puppy on that day. Okay. Nothing is more important than good health. Maybe next time. Paper. Hermia, what's up? Miles, did you hear that? The International Game Conference is going to take place soon. Oh, we've been waiting for so long. When is it held? It starts on May 4th and lasts for three days. Do you want to join me? Are you kidding me? I'm already all set. Is it held at the same place as last year? Yes, it's at the Central Convention Center. Good. It's definitely within walking distance. Could you text me the link to the website? Okay. Check it out. Wow. The speakers are all well known in the game industry. Did you see the topics of their lectures? Yeah. They'll talk about the metaverse, virtual reality, and mobile games. Amazing. 
and a ticket only costs thirty dollars. It's quite reasonable. I agree. We can even freely attend any lectures we want during the conference. Great! I can't wait. Hermia, what's up? Miles, did you hear that? The international game conference is going to take place soon. Oh, we've been waiting for so long. When is it held? It starts on May fourth and lasts for three days. Do you want to join me? Are you kidding me? I'm already all set. Is it held at the same place as last year? Yes, it's at the Central Convention Center. Good. It's definitely within walking distance. Could you text me the link to the website? Okay, check it out. Wow, the speakers are all well known in the game industry. Did you see the topics of their lectures? Yeah, they'll talk about the metaverse, virtual reality, and mobile games. Amazing, and a ticket only costs thirty dollars. It's quite reasonable. I agree. We can even freely attend any lectures we want during the conference. Great. I can't wait. Coupon. Hello, Animation World podcast listeners. Are you a huge fan of superhero comics and movies? Then why don't you visit our superhero museum and meet your favorite characters? Our museum holds over seventy thousand comic books and forty thousand films, as well as over ten thousand toys. All of these fantastic pieces are on display in our museum, located next to the city library, and we provide a superhero costume rental service for adults as well as kids. To enjoy all the fun, the admission fee is only eight dollars, and we offer free tickets to children under school age. Also, customers who visit our museum on their birthday will get a special piece of cake in our cafeteria. For more information. Please visit our website. Come and be a superhero with us. Coupon. Hello, Animation World podcast listeners. Are you a huge fan of superhero comics and movies? Then why don't you visit our superhero museum and meet your favorite characters? Our museum holds over seventy thousand comic books and forty thousand films, as well as over ten thousand toys. All of these fantastic pieces are on display in our museum, located next to the city library, and we provide a superhero costume rental service for adults as well as kids. To enjoy all the fun, the admission fee is only eight dollars, and we offer free tickets to children under school age. Also, customers who visit our museum on their birthday will get a special piece of cake in our cafeteria. For more information, please visit our website. Come and be a superhero with us. Shippon. Honey, we're almost out of hand soap. Oh, I was just looking for some online. Will you choose with me? Sure. Let's see. How about choosing one of these for less than twenty dollars? I agree. I don't want to spend too much for hand soap either. Which form of hand soap do you want? You know, liquid soap is easier to use but produces more plastic waste. Yeah. Then why don't we choose from among the bar soaps? Good. How about the fragrance? Do you have a preference? I'd like anything but lemon. We've used lemon for a long time. Let's make a change this time. Okay. There are two options left then. Oh, this one is not tested on animals. I believe testing on living animals is not ethical. I agree. Let's order it now. Honey, we're almost out of hand soap. Oh, I was just looking for some online. Will you choose with me? Sure. Let's see. How about choosing one of these for less than twenty dollars? I agree. I don't want to spend too much for hand soap either. Which form of hand soap do you want? You know, liquid soap is easier to use but produces more plastic waste. Yeah. Then why don't we choose from among the bar soaps? Good. 
How about the fragrance? Do you have a preference? I'd like anything but lemon. We've used lemon for a long time. Let's make a change this time. Okay. There are two options left then. Oh, this one is not tested on animals. I believe testing on living animals is not ethical. I agree. Let's order it now. Hello. Can I order a fried chicken to go, please? Yes, but the orders have piled up because of the big soccer match tonight. Is it okay for you to wait? Oh, I should have come much earlier. When do you think I'll receive my order? Hello. Can I order a fried chicken to go, please? Yes, but the orders have piled up because of the big soccer match tonight. Is it okay for you to wait? Oh, I should have come much earlier. When do you think I'll receive my order? Sweetie, do you have any plans this Saturday? Nothing special. Why, Dad? Well, I have a business meeting that morning, so I need somebody to give your brother a ride to ice hockey practice. Sweetie, do you have any plans this Saturday? Nothing special. Why, Dad? Well, I have a business meeting that morning, so I need somebody to give your brother a ride to ice hockey practice. Hello, Kevin. What brings you to my office today? Hello, Miss Smith. I'd like to take the computer coding class, but I heard that it's already fully booked. You're right. Far more students wanted to sign up for the class than we expected. Oh, no. I was really looking forward to it. Then why don't you take it online? Our school also offers an online coding class. Lucky me. But I've never taken an online class. I'm sure Mr. Brown can give you more information. He's in charge of students taking online classes. Okay. Where's his office? Well, he's on a business trip. You'll be able to see him this coming Thursday. Hmm. I'm afraid that'll be too late to register for the class. Don't worry. Registration is due next Friday. Before deciding whether to take the class, you should consult with Mr. Brown first. Hello, Kevin. What brings you to my office today? Hello, Miss Smith. I'd like to take the computer coding class, but I heard that it's already fully booked. You're right. Far more students wanted to sign up for the class than we expected. Oh, no. I was really looking forward to it. Then why don't you take it online? Our school also offers an online coding class. Lucky me. but. I've never taken an online class. I'm sure Mr. Brown can give you more information. He's in charge of students taking online classes. Okay. Where's his office? Well, he's on a business trip. You'll be able to see him this coming Thursday. Hmm. I'm afraid that'll be too late to register for the class. Don't worry. Registration is due next Friday. Before deciding whether to take the class, you should consult with Mr. Brown first. Molly, how have you been? Hi, Ron. To tell you the truth, I've been feeling a little bit down lately. My life seems so repetitive. I see. I felt that way before myself. Really? You've had this experience too? Of course. 
Last year, I felt like my life was so full of dull moments. I didn't know that. How did you overcome? For me, learning to play the ukulele helped a lot. Why don't you try learning a new hobby? That might help boost your spirits. Interesting. But learning something new also causes stress, doesn't it? Yes, but in a positive way. I gained more energy in my life by pushing myself to try a new activity. That makes sense. Do you think it'll work for me too? Well, it did for me. I think it might do you good. Molly, how have you been? Hi, Ron. To tell you the truth, I've been feeling a little bit down lately. My life seems so repetitive. I see. I felt that way before myself. Really? You've had this experience too? Of course. Last year, I felt like my life was so full of dull moments. I didn't know that. How did you overcome? For me, learning to play the ukulele helped a lot. Why don't you try learning a new hobby? That might help boost your spirits. Interesting. But learning something new also causes stress, doesn't it? Yes, but in a positive way. I gained more energy in my life by pushing myself to try a new activity. That makes sense. Do you think it'll work for me too? Well, it did for me. I think it might do you good. Emma has lots of friends. One day, she plans to invite some close friends to her house and treat them to a home-cooked meal. On the way home, she stops at the grocery store and puts foods and beverages in her cart. She stands at the counter and meets Tom, who works at the store as a cashier. Due to a temporary bank error, he has to swipe Emma's credit card two times. After paying the bill, she checks the payment confirmation messages on her cell phone and finds out she got two messages about the same amount of money. So she wants to ask Tom to see if the payment was made twice. In this situation, what would Emma most likely say to Tom? Emma has lots of friends. One day, she plans to invite some close friends to her house and treat them to a home-cooked meal. On the way home, she stops at the grocery store and puts foods and beverages in her cart. She stands at the counter and meets Tom, who works at the store as a cashier. Due to a temporary bank error, he has to swipe Emma's credit card two times. After paying the bill, she checks the payment confirmation messages on her cell phone and finds out she got two messages about the same amount of money. So she wants to ask Tom to see if the payment was made twice. In this situation, what would Emma most likely say to Tom? Good morning, students. It's good to see you again. Last time, we talked about how to express your anger in a healthy way. Today, I'm going to tell you some useful ways to manage conflict situations. First, try the accommodating strategy. Simply accept the opponent's argument and you'll see that small disagreements can be handled quickly and easily with a minimum of effort. Second, you can use compromising strategy. To reach agreement, each party sometimes needs to give up something that they want. Through finding the middle ground, both parties can feel they've been listened to. Next, competing strategy is helpful when you decide to hold to your principles. When it comes to moral judgment, you can reject compromise. Sometimes it's best to stick to what you believe is correct. Finally, avoiding strategy is another type of conflict management. This style aims to reduce conflict by ignoring it. 
That can give you time to calm down and analyze the situation based on a more objective point of view. Now, let's watch a few videos and think about how to handle each situation. 다시 한번 듣겠습니다. Good morning, students. It's good to see you again. Last time, we talked about how to express your anger in a healthy way. Today, I'm going to tell you some useful ways to manage conflict situations. First, try the accommodating strategy. Simply accept the opponent's argument and you'll see that small disagreements can be handled quickly and easily with a minimum of effort. Second, you can use compromising strategy. To reach agreement, each party sometimes needs to give up something that they want. Through finding the middle ground, both parties can feel they've been listened to. Next, competing strategy is helpful when you decide to hold to your principles. When it comes to moral judgment, you can reject compromise. Sometimes it's best to stick to what you believe is correct. Finally, avoiding strategy is another type of conflict management. This style aims to reduce conflict by ignoring it. That can give you time to calm down and analyze the situation based on a more objective point of view. Now, let's watch a few videos and think about how to handle each situation. 